Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Meryl, if you are new here, hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. It's been a hot minute, to say the least. After I posted that Adele video, I got like 30 new subscribers, which is like maybe not a lot of people to you, but I was like, whoa, that's like a lot of new people. So, hey, if you're new, welcome to my inconsistent, sometimes chaotic YouTube channel. I am straight out of the shower. I have to leave in about an hour. So this is gonna be like some movie magic type of shit, all right? <laughs> but I thought I would walk you through how I get ready to go when I have to go in not a lot of time. <laughs> and I was like, you know, let's just fucking chuck a YouTube video on top of that, why not? So here we are. So I'm gonna take this R & Co High Dive Moisture and Shine Cream a little bit and put that in my hair. I will let it air dry for a while before I blow dry it just for hair health and shit like that. When I tell you that every inch of skin on my entire fucking body feels like it's going to crumble and fall off. I'm sorry that's gross but like your girl hates the fucking winter so let's just get this shit out of the way. <laughs> Cute. Okay, we're gonna start off with our brows. Actually, first things first, do you see this lovely patch of dry skin? Let me tell you. I don't know how the fuck to get rid of it, but I'm gonna take some Weleda skin food. By the way, I got this at Welks on Main Street in Vancouver if you were ever <laughs> wondering where the fuck to get it because it does not sell in Canada. It's, um, it's like a UK brand. Anyways, I got this at uh, Yes, well, because I'm Main Street. So I'm just gonna put this on my lower half of the face because she's dry and she needs extra help. But I do my brows first so I can't have any moisture on my brow area or else the product's not gonna stick and it's just gonna be a nightmare. So <laughs> I'm taking my Anastasia brow freeze and going in. Happy almost holidays. It is Thursday the 23rd at Merry Christmas Eve Eve. I'm going to go hang out with my cousin and her little bebe. I cannot wait. That fucking child <laughs> brings me so much joy. <laughs> Literally, ugh. you having a bad day? Find a fucking baby, dude. I swear. I swear. It is truly, <laughs> truly the cure. <laughs> I can't wait to have one. Brows are looking slicked. Perfect. I'm gonna take my NYX brow pen in soft brown. Just to fill in these little gaps. I think I said, I don't know if I said I filmed this video yesterday, but then I was like, no, I'm not, I don't want to. <laughs> so I stopped. It was like 5 p.m. and I had blazed earlier that day, so I was like, mm, I'm not giving my best self here. So here we are. You're like, this is your best self? <laughs> yeah, it is. Are they even? No. Do I care? Not really. Okay, back to the moisture train. I have a lot of new shit that I haven't shown on the internet because I haven't filmed since like October. But like the stuff that I got on a Black Friday sale or also the VIB sale from like months ago. I'm gonna show you what I got. This is Tarte eye cream. I got this actually in a boxy charm, which was a sick fucking find. <laughs> Now I'm gonna go in with my youth to the people. Like when I tell you, I use a lot of moisturizing products. See my youth to the people, adaptogen deep moisture cream, along with a little bit of auric, organite. Mix that up and apply. So the only thing I got on Black Friday was these Katie Jane Hughes times Spectrum brushes, 25 piece brush set, um, and they are magical. They're truly magical. Like, I never thought I would be like, oh, brushes, but these are fucking game changing, dude. That's all I'm gonna say, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, I got them on like super sale because it was Black Friday, but I had also just signed up as like, you know, like a new customer kind of thing. And it was an additional like whatever 15% off. 
So I think I got like 40% off on these brushes and I was like, oh yes. My kind of, my kind of purchase. So I'm going to use my Fenty Easy Drop foundation. It's just the best and it's closest to my skin tone right now. And I'm gonna just smear it around with this little foundation brush. Oh my god, I can't stop burning. I can't stop fucking burning. <laughs> uh, this is a Katie Jane Hughes number six brush. I'm just gonna like spread it around and then go in with my sponge and make it all nice. I know you might be thinking, um, ma'am, that's like a semi-matte foundation or whatever. Um, I know, but for some reason it works on my dry ass skin. Now if that ain't a good shade match, I don't know what is. All right, that is the foundation applied and I know you can still see like all my skin texture, some little spots going on. But you know what? It's okay. It's okay. Everybody has them. Um, I know that it can be, make you feel super self-conscious, but you know what? We're just gonna go with it. We're just gonna go with it. It's here. It's been here. I don't think it's leaving anytime soon. So it's just a part of us for now. <laughs> Love that for me. Anyways. Oh, I definitely need some chapstick. This is my summer Fridays. Uh, butter bomb, lip butter bomb in vanilla. Ah, love rubbing together lips that feel like sandpaper. <laughs> Next up, we're gonna go in with some bronzer. This is my all-time favorite bronzer and I will absolutely be getting a deeper shade next summer. This is the Patrick Ta, she sculpted. So I'm going in with this Katie Jane Hughes, I'll just do KJH, uh, number two brush. And the nice thing about these brushes is that you can use them for whatever the fuck you want. You wanna use it for cream, go for it. You also wanna use it for powder, go for that. You do you. Bring some onto the little straws. And now I'm gonna take the same brush and go into the powder and just set all the, all the cream that we just so nicely blended out. Looking nice and bronzed. Now we're gonna go in with some blush. By the way, they sell Flower Beauty at fucking um, Superstore. So that was a nice little discovery. I'm gonna take some blush balm in the shade Cinnamon from Flower Beauty on one of these Katie Jane Hughes brushes. This is uh, number four. It's like a duo fiber brush. Nice for creams. Nice for really whatever you want it to be nice for. <laughs> this is like a nice sunburn color. Let's pretend we've been in the sun. But it has in fact been a rainy shithole here. <laughs> Actually, it's not raining today, so that's nice. And now, you know, I think we're pretty glowy. But I'm gonna go now in with some concealer. My ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer. I just have a lot of stuff that I haven't used for a while, so I was like, you know what, let's try to not buy a bunch of shit and use the stuff that we have. So this is me doing that. This is actually a really good concealer though, I love it. And recently I have been enjoying putting the concealer on after all the, the complexion products because it kind of just cleans everything up and like looks real nice. There's that. There's the skin looking pretty all right, if you ask me. <laughs> I'm gonna take my Patrick Star One Size Preserve the Serve Luminous Setting Mist and uh, spray my face. Now we're just gonna go into my favorite fucking eyeshadow palette of an eternity. I was gonna say of all time, but then an E came out, so I was like, you know, eternity. I've recently just been doing like a smoky brown eye with like a deeper lash line and have been liking it. So we're gonna go for that again today. Um, this is the KJH number 10 brush. This is literally the best blending brush I've ever used in my entire life. And you can bet your, your butt that I will probably be buying more brushes. I'm not gonna need the 25 piece set again, but I need some of the other ones. Let me just, I'm just gonna take my bronzer brush and go over my lid. 
just to set it and add some browns. Uh, Makeup by Mario. Master Matte and this beautiful fucking brush. Going into another shade here with the KJH number seven. Back over to my blending brush. And now I'm gonna take this little tiny brush KJH number 21 and go in with a nice deep and just smoke out the lash line. It's pretty much pretty much the eyes. That one there's so many fucking sparkles in this brush. God damn. Okay, I'll take this nice brush. <laughs> I've literally described every brush as nice. <laughs> They're nice, okay. KJH number 17, just put a little bit on the bottom lash line. Bottom lash line, what the fuck did I just say? Oh, I did not set my under eyes yet. <laughs> Interesting choice, Meryl. Okay, now I'm going to set my face a bit with my Kosas fucking powder that the lid broke off on. Um, and just, yes, set some areas of my face, most likely just the under eye. And that's about it, because I want the rest of my skin to stay moisturized. We need just a little bit of powder, you know, just to lock it all in. Now, for mascara, I'm going to take this CoverGirl Clump Crusher waterproof mascara and use that. I'll be back in a sec. This is the only mascara that I found that like keeps my lashes like up. Like they'll always like fall throughout the day which is hella annoying. But this CoverGirl Clump Crusher has not disappointed me yet. Okay I'm gonna let my mascara like settle for a minute. Take whatever the fuck this is down. Let's see what's going on over here. I am going to blow dry this for a minute. Be right back. Also, yeah, I got a haircut. I got some bangs. Which I thought would be a fun time. But I just suck at styling them. It's mostly dry. Just gonna try to fix these. These ones don't do fucking anything. <laughs> oh, what is that? What the fuck, man? Oh my god. Literally never asked me to do your hair ever in your entire life. Oh my god. What the fuck? Solved. I feel like when they get longer, it'll be easier to style them, but they're still so fucking short. More setting spray, because it just feels right. Pop a little lip liner on. <laughs> this is giving me chapped lip vibes circa 2009 did anyone else ever get that where like your lips would get so chapped that it was like this big because i did and it was fucking terrible that's it and i'm just just gonna continue to apply this all fucking day like, why can't you do anything good over here on this side can you just like go like that that would be good this side this side was like yeah i got you and that side told me to fuck off. Thank you so much for watching my video today. If you enjoyed it, please give it a nice little thumbs up. That would um, help me out so very much. You can uh, check me out on Instagram if you, if you want to. It's not consistent over there either, but you get, you get stories, which are sometimes like a time and sometimes it's, it's not. So it's really your choice. <laughs>
I'll have all the products I used listed in the description box down below. And um, I think that's all for me today. Today's the 23rd, so I don't know when this video is going to go up, but if it doesn't go up uh, tomorrow, it might. It might go up on Christmas Eve, maybe. Well, I'll try my best. But if not, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you celebrate. Hope you have a good time. Still fucked up because <laughs> can't really gather, but you can have more of a gathering than we could last year. So you know what? I'll take what I can get here. Take what I can get and uh, hope that next Christmas we can all be together. Anyways, that's it for me. I will shut the fuck up and uh, see you later.